Imagine beautiful new windows and doors that elevate your space and keep you comfortable year-round. At Renewal by Anderson, we specialize in custom-built, energy-efficient windows and doors that are crafted to last. And just for our first 20 podcast listeners, mention our podcast offer and receive 20% off your entire project. Save now. Visit bestwindowsflorida.com to schedule your free in-home consultation. License number CGC 1527613. Here is the latest from Oil City News on K2 Radio. An Evansville man will serve a six-month county jail sentence after a series of altercations at a bar in Evansville on December 26th last year, which culminated in him pointing a gun at the bar's owner. 52-year-old Matthew Mikulowski appeared for sentencing on Monday morning. His defense attorney, Ryan Semerad, said he'd rarely had a client who expressed such remorse. Mikulowski had entered an Alford guilty plea. The assistant DA told the judge it was due to the defendant's reportedly blacked-out state at the time of the offense. On the night of the incident, multiple agencies responded to the bar about 11.45 p.m. When they got there, Mikulowski reportedly put the gun on the table and he was handcuffed and arrested. The bar owner told police he'd gone to intervene after seeing Mikulowski become argumentative with a female patron. The bar owner said he was also punched in the shoulder by the defendant before he took the gun out of his waistband. Just under a year later, Mikulowski has been charged with aggravated assault and battery. And during the time that these legal proceedings have been happening, he has maintained sobriety and been out on bond. He was officially given a four to eight year sentence, but that will be suspended after he serves six months. He'll serve three years of supervised probation. Last night, the Casper City Council voted to terminate an agreement with the Wyoming Community Development Authority for half a million dollars in community development block grant funds for renovations to the Willard and Vision Center. As a qualified municipal sponsor, the city received that money through the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development in 2022 to support the Casper Housing Authority in renovating the former Willard School for the Willard and Vision Center. City staff and the Casper Housing Administration worked together for two years to meet environmental procedures and processes. However, the project ended up being delayed. Other grant funds were threatened should the WCDA funds not be deployed on schedule. And as a result, city officials are withdrawing their request to be the subgrantee. They are returning the $500,000 to the WCDA. CDA. The Casper Housing Authority will continue to move forward with the project. We will keep you updated when we know more about that. The city has officially completed College Drive Path. Uh, This is a project that added multi-use paths along College Drive with the Casper City Council officially authorizing its final acceptance certificate on Tuesday night. You can find it by the college between West 18th Street and Poplar Street. It was funded with $400,000 from the Wyoming Department of Transportation's Alternatives Program. Council documents show that YDOT requires local public agencies to submit a certificate of project completion prior to the reimbursement of the final 10% of project funds. I certainly look forward to using that. It's exciting that it is complete. And finally, I have a couple of quick public service announcements. Next month, the National Historic Trails Interpretive Center is hosting its annual holiday on the homestead. That's on December 14th from 9 a.m., to 2 p.m. They do this every year. The Trail Center staff and volunteers enjoy celebrating the holidays with the community and strengthening ties between family and friends. Um, They'll have live pioneer music. They're singing and dancing. They've got a handbell performance. Um, They do historians portray military life on the frontier with an encampment. Also, there's tons of fun hands-on activities, snowflake making, cookie decorating. I know my children have uh, written letters to Santa, and then they're delivered by the Pony Express. It's really cool to see someone on horseback uh, ride off with their letters. So definitely something you don't want to miss. And coming up even sooner, the Casper Ice Arena is hosting a Skate with Santa and Mrs. Claus on Saturday, November 23rd. That's this weekend. Casper Oilers and the Casper Warbirds will assist Santa and Mrs. Claus on the ice. Festivities kick off at 11.30 a.m. And there's a special session for children under five years old until noon afternoon. All kids of all ages are welcome to join in the fun for the remainder of the event. Um, Ice Arena Supervisor Chad Green says that admission, skate rental, and hot cocoa are going to be free. Read more at k2radio.com. Reporting in Casper, I'm Colby Fee. Imagine beautiful new windows and doors that elevate your space and keep you comfortable year-round. At Renewal by Anderson, we specialize in custom-built, energy-efficient windows and doors that are crafted to last. And just for our first 20 podcast listeners, mention our podcast offer and receive 20% off your entire project. Save now. Visit bestwindowsflorida.com to schedule your free in-home consultation. License number CGC 1527613.